Hi, I'm Josh with Jellyfish Lighting. This video covers creating a pattern program using the sequence mode. For written instructions, visit our operations manual on our website at jellyfishlighting.com manual. To select a different pattern mode, simply select the pattern mode selector and change to a different pattern mode. Currently, there are many different pattern modes in the Create Pattern page. With the Sequence pattern, all the lights start out with the uniform color. Then they all change to a new color simultaneously. It works like this. In order for the Sequence mode to work properly, the zones do not need to be set up with the correct number of lights on each zone. For more information on Zone Setup, on the lower menu bar, press the Settings button, then select Zones on the upper tab. To create a program using the Create Pattern page in sequence mode, first make sure there is at least one zone toggled on and that at least one zone is selected. Make sure that the sequence mode is selected. Because the sequence mode starts the zone with the solid color, then proceeds to change the color of the zone by sequence. The minimum number of colors for this mode is two. Next pick at least two colors. This number can be increased by, modified, by modifying or pressing the minus or plus buttons to the right of the words colors. Select the color by selecting a primary color, selecting a custom color, or creating your own color. To create your own color, use the top color selecting selection slider to determine the color, then use the bottom slider to determine the intensity. To assign this new color as a new custom color to be reused in the future, press and hold your finger on any of the custom color squares and the new color will be assigned to that custom color. The color can be modified on the color represented by a field in circle, not by a field in square. To change the selected color, press the other color. Then modify the color by selecting a primary color, custom color, or by creating a new color. I'm going to select the first color to red and the second color to white using the primary color boxes. After your colors are set, let's go to the settings page to learn what other options are available. Select the upper settings button, color transform. Use the color transform to change the way the sequence is performed. The options for the color transform are no color, transform, progression, and fade. The no color transform setting sequences, the setting sequences the lights in a uniform manner. See here. The progression color transform also allows the user to create a slow progression of colors starting with the current defined color and moving to the next color. The fade color transform lets the user change the brightness of each color as it approaches the defined color. It works like this. Let's now explore the effects. There are three effect settings, no effect, twinkle, and lightning. Let's change the effect setting from no effect to twinkle. Notice that a single light randomly twinkles at a given rate. To change the rate of the twinkle, adjust the slider to the right of the effect selection. Now let's change the effect to lightning. Notice that now a random group of lights now flash to change the rate of the lightning. Adjust the slide to the right of the effect selection. There are five other settings for adjustment, speed, brightness, red, green, and blue levels. To either pause the sequence or to speed up the sequence, use the speed slider to change the desired speed. To adjust the brightness of the newly created program, adjust the brightness slider. To remove some of the red, green, or blue from the program, adjust the corresponding slider like this. Saving your new pattern. After the pattern has been created, it can be saved it is important to know how to save a pattern because only saved patterns can be recalled by timer or calendar events or just recalled spontaneously. To save this or any pattern, press the save button on the upper left corner of the screen. There you'll have the option to enter a pattern name. I will type in red and white stacker, excuse me, red and white sequence. I can then select a pattern category so the pattern can be more easily found in the future, or I can make a new category to save this pattern. I'm going to create a new category called Josh's Programs. Okay, now that I've created this new category, I notice that the name Josh's Programs has now been added to the pattern category list 
and it has been selected. So now I'm going to save this pattern. This is how you create a sequence pattern. Thank you for watching and enjoy your lights.